welcome back to the channel everybody I am or we my son and I we're gonna be getting ready to go out fishing but I decided to do the intro here because it is super windy like 30 mile per hour gusts but we are taking the boat out today because the wind is supposed to calm down and yeah, about four or so start getting down below 30 mile per hour gusts you know but um, also what I wanted to talk to you about is how you can save money um, by kind of making your own vibrating baits so uh, you know we have vibrating baits vibrating jigs that are everybody knows what brand they are the chatter bait brand but I have plenty of them but sometimes you just can't find that color that you really want so uh, I really kind of want to find a uh, more of a bluegill color so I decided to go to the store and see if I could find any okay so we are gonna need some 3 8 ounce jigs <clears throat> let's do black and blue this one let's do a white And let's just do these three for now. Wish I could find a red one, but I can't. So that one's kind of a bluegill. We got the black and blue. <clears throat> we got the white. And chatterbaits right next to them. 436, they're all in three eighths. Kind of the same head design as the Arky jig, so let's uh, just go with that. Okay, so what I did was I went to the store for these dollar eighty a piece. They're Arky bass jigs, and I got a black and blue. Got your typical white, and I got more of a bluegill color, and uh, them are. Pretty much the vibrating jigs that I would use the most, which I have a couple whites and I have some black and blue, but I don't have any vibrating jigs in the bluegill color. So let's get this opened up, and then once we go out, we will fish with it. And I'm still, I'm gonna leave the weed guard on it, I do believe. So, but I could cut that off once I fish with it. But how am I gonna make this into a vibrating jig? With switchblades, so the switchblades are from uh, Queen's Tackle, and you can get these. Oh, you can get them on Omnia and Tackle Warehouse. Tackle Warehouse, so you have to buy like fifty dollars in order to get free shipping. So you need fifty dollars worth of tackle. Pick some of these up while you're at it, and also you can go to Queen's uh, Tackle website, and I'll post a link to that too. And you can get these, and you can get them in. Let me set down this jig. You can get them in black, and you can get them in silver, and you can get them in gold. But I want to use the gold color today with that uh, bluegill jig because the bluegills will be just getting on the beds real soon. So let's uh, pull one of these out and show you how to attach them. Okay, now they have the little tie-on right here, and that's where you tie it on to your line. And then there's a bar that goes across to the bottom here, and it's held in by two little clips. Uh, to make this easier, if you push them hard enough, you can pop that out. But to make it easier, I have a knife here somewhere. You can just take a knife blade, just stick it in there, and just lift that up just a little bit. You don't want to go too much because you don't want to bend it up. Then what you do is pop this out. Let me go up a little higher with that. That's the part where you have to hang on to it. So you pop that little arm up. If I can hold on to it. And actually let me use my needle nose might make it a little bit easier. 
So get all that little wire, pop it up and out. It's hinged on the other side. And then what you do is you want to make sure your jig is facing the correct direction. Slide your jig onto that arm. Let me get the screw out of the way so I can see what I'm doing. And then just take it and twist it and get that arm back underneath the little clip. So it's hanging like that. And then you could just push it down, but I'm gonna take out my pliers and just pinch it back in place. I'm gonna pinch the other side too, just to make sure that they're good and tight. And we got bugs flying around too. And there you go, now you have a bluegill color with a gold blade vibrating jig. Um, looks really good, should work really good. These are the large blades. Um, I've yet to find the regular blades online anymore. So we're gonna go with the gold with kind of bluegill colored skirt. And with the weed guard, that should make it even more weedless. But if it seems to impede the way it runs, then I will take a scissors and cut that off. So now let's just uh, go to the lake tie this on and we'll see how it does. Okay, another thing you could do, might sound kind of weird, but let me get this out of here. Spinnerbait. You could actually take one of these switch blades and let me get another one out. You want to add more flash to your spinnerbait. You could actually attach one of these to the front of a spinner bait and give it just a little more flash and also probably slow it down a little bit. So you could add that to a spinner bait. So there's no real limitations as long as that eye is facing the correct direction. Okay, you could take a jerk bait. You could attach this to the jerk bait. That way it's pulling down and it's also giving it a little more flash through that bait. Um, I got some Smithwick robes here. The eye is facing the correct direction. If yours has the little ring on the front to tie onto, just take that off and attach the blade right to the front of the of the stick bait. And that'll give it a little more flash. So little experimental things that you can try with these. Um, but primarily turning your old swim jigs, you know, into vibrating baits. So let's go out to the lake, or the river in our case, and give it a try. Okay, before we get going on this video, I must apologize. My chesty was not recording sound, and then I got smudged by suntan lotion, I'm guessing. I probably rubbed my arm against it. And my GoPro was not recording everything that I should record. So typical GoPro action so but uh, we still put together a video and I uh, hope you enjoy it
Okay, we're off the water and show that the uh, uh, switchblade with uh, some inexpensive uh, jigs and uh, super K jig actually catch fish because we caught it was slow, but we got bass and walleye, you know, off that homemade jig, and it costs a whole lot cheaper than uh, the name brand jigs. So, uh, like I said, I'll leave some links. For the switchblades or queen's tackle, excuse me, <laughs> and uh, so they're queen's tackle switchblades and then uh, jigs, basically any brand that you want. But we were fighting the wind all day, it was pretty tough, uh, it was real slow fishing. But well, we got a couple, so that's good, uh, it's better than getting skunked. So if you like this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.